What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, man. Today we have some more WWE 2K24 news. Let's get into it, man. So, um, this is coming from Pro Wrestling Headliners. Two weeks until the hashtag 2K24 trailer. So, he is a great source for 2K24 news. But there's two weeks from now is the day for 2K24 trailer, and I can't wait. So, uh, I want to bring this to you guys. Now, what do you guys think will be in the trailer? Is the question? Will they show gameplay? Will they show roster reveals, stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below, man. Um. Let's see the comments say, wait for real, maybe next week. Source, I heard B.O. is going to be a part of it. But yeah, so this two weeks time is from today is, I believe, Royal Rumble time. So two weeks until the trailer for WTK24, which is a phenomenal news. And then he says, hashtag 2K24, new NXT wrestlers predictions female. He has Ariana Grace, which Ariana Grace is in NXT right now, which is pretty cool. So his list could be the... NXT, new NXT wrestler for the female part because he has good sources, so that's why I'm bringing this to you guys. When you know, Ariana Grace, I love her look, I love anything about Ariana Grace, so this will make the most sense. Um, Ava Rain is on NXT every single week right now, she's like a manager, not using her as much as she should be used, but hopefully, she get used soon in the ring. But right now, she's helping out Shawn Michaels, getting out matches, and things like that, so she's just a manager right now. Electra Lopez is supposed to be DLC with the rumors and stuff going around, so I I feel like Electra Lopez will be in WWE 2K24 just as DLC. Okay, so but yeah, Electra Lopez, Low Advice should be in there as well. You know, what I'm saying them two, especially on TV a lot now, it's just inevitable that they'll be in the game. Fallen Henley is in a uh, rivalry with T Tiffany Stratton. They just did like a, a ranch, like um, what you call it, a ranch cutscene on TV where Tiffany Stratton helping out her at the ranch, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I feel like she'll make her debut this year as well. Just on the fact that she's on TV each and every week. Um, she was one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions with Kiana James. You guys did not know that. But yeah, Fallen Henley definitely made the cut this year. Jakari Jackson. Jakari Jackson will be in the game this year. I think the whole metaphor will be in. 100%. Jakari Jackson is on TV every week with the metaphor. With Noam Dar. They get her, them on TV a lot. Especially in the NXT. The woman on NXT is very, used very well especially with Shawn michaels use them each and every week different match types or storylines going around i feel like nxt uses probably has the best women's roster in, in WWE in wrestling company period point blank period you know what i'm saying if you guys watch nxt you know who jakari jackson is you know what i'm talking about all right next we have kalani jordan now kalani jordan is an upcoming star she's a bit on pay view she's only been working with there six months and she's grown a lot you know what i'm saying um i feel like her she showed out at that at the last pay view NXT deadline, and I feel like she's gonna be in the game this year. I feel like she's gonna be one of the last DLC packs. I love her work because she's an athletic wrestler. I feel like Kalani Jordan will definitely make the cut this year in WWE 2K24. It's just a matter of time. Um, so yeah, I think she'll make the cut this year 100%. It could be a surprise in the base game roster too, though. Roster edition. Um, next we have Kiana James. Now Kiana James started off in WWE with Roxanne Perez. Um, she should have been in the game as soon as Roxanne Perez in the game 100%. I don't I don't know why they didn't put in the game at the same time, but hey, I guess they saved her for the next year. You know what I'm saying? So Kiana James should make the cut this year in WWE 2K24, just on the fact that she should make the cut. You know what I'm saying? She's been on every single show, every single NXT this past um, year, so hopefully she makes the cut this year. Um, it'll be good to see her in the game. I'm tired of seeing calls of Kiana James. It doesn't even look like Kiana James most of the time. Just make her in the game. Lash Legend should definitely be in the game this year. She started with Nikita Lions. Nikita Lions made cut last year's base game. Wasn't surprising me if Lash Legend and, and, and uh, Jakarta Jackson's base game. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't surprise me at all because last year they did, Nikita Lions should have, I thought it was going to be DLC with Roxanne Perez, Cora Jade, Carmelo Hayes. They could have pushed them to DLC instead of Trick Williams. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that would have made more sense. And you put those superstars at DLC, but he didn't. So, take each his own, you know what I'm saying? But Lash Legend should be in the game this year, 1,000%, man. Lola Vice, okay? Lola Vice is an NXT Women's Breakout Tournament winner. Um, She's on TV a lot with Electra Lopez each and every week. She's in a rivalry right now with Roxanne Perez and Tatum Paxley. Um, we'll talk about Tatum Paxley later as well. But Lola Vice should definitely make the cut this year 1,000%. It would make more sense if she's in the game as well. Um, No reason to leave her off this year. Just put her in this year. She's been on TV well enough. Know her moveset, know her interest motion, and things of that nature. All right, Lara Valkyria is an NXT Women's Champion. I feel like she'll be DLC, but who knows? It might surprise base game. Lara Valkyria definitely will make the cut this year 100%. Um, no questions asked. I feel like she 
as, as the NXT Women's Champion, she has to make the cut. There's no way to leave her off the roster. She's been NXT for almost a year. Um, she had great matches with Becky Lynch. You know what I'm saying? Zaya Lee. You know what I'm saying? So Tiffany Stratton as well. So I feel like she'll make the cut this year 1,000%. So Rakua, I feel like this is a hit or miss. I don't think she'll make the cut this year. She hasn't been on TV that much. But he is an actual source. He knows Brian Williams personally. So he, I feel like he's the best one of the best sources for 2K24 news. I feel like if he puts out a roster prediction, it has to be true most of the time. Whatever he puts out, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't bring y'all, you know, fake uh, news if I don't think it's real for myself, you know what I'm saying? But, um, Solo Recruit, I don't think it made the cut this year. But he has him on this list, and if she's on the game, I'm not complaining, you know what I'm saying? Tatum Paxley. Tatum Paxley's interesting. She's on the TV a lot now, every single week. She's helping out Laura Vicaria with that with NXT breakout tournament cash in to help her stop that. She's always there by her side, like a tag team, like a best friend, things of that nature. Tana Paxley should definitely be in the game this year. No questions asked. She's been in the company for, what, two years? She's put her in the game this year. We'd love to see Tatum Paxley in the game. There's been some cool creations about her this year, but I want to see her in the game without cause. You know what I'm saying? The, so, put her in the game. Not thousand percent, bro. Thea Hall, the whole Chase U is going to be in the game this year. We had Andre Chase last year. We're going to get Duke Hudson at Thea Hall this year, 1,000%. So, the whole Chase U is going to be in the game. Now, I wonder if they're going to change JC Jane's uh Tynetron for the Chase U one or her new one. You know what I'm saying? That's what interesting part about it. I want to see. Pair them up with JC J and Thea Hall. Go after her tag team championship in the game. You can do that as well, which would be pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Let her Thea Kiana falling 100 percent Lash Lola Kilani is 70 percent Tatum Lecture Jakari 50 percent So Ryan and Ava Sally don't make it. Ava will make it at least as a manager. So he's confirming Ava will make the game as a manager. So Pro Wrestling Headlines. Follow him on Twitter, bro. 100 percent Nice list. I hope the NXT roster goes deeper than that with both male and female. I know I'm in a matter, but I would rather see a deeper current roster than legends. Same. Well, let me know if you guys will see legends or current NXT stars in the game. Now you forgetting Mother Miko and Danny Paul. I don't think Danny Paul would make the cut. No, no way, no way. But yeah, guys, um, that's what you have to say. Oh, and then most hated, most hated bunny tweeted out this hashtag Royal Rumble two K twenty four. Uh, adrenaline in my soul hashtag two K twenty four. And then Jay has some more news. We talk about that in this video as well. Um. Okay, news. The base roster is a repackaging of 2K23 just with new characters. Release date is March 12th, special edition. March 15th is standard edition. It's still cross-gen between generations 8 and 9 for those worrying about consoles. Okay, so this is all the news I have for you guys today about W2K24. I posted an article about Bray Wyatt in my earlier video. And now I have more news about W2K24. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe. Turn your post notifications. And follow the TikTok in the comments section down below. Leave a comment on the trailer. It's coming out. In two weeks, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next time. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.